Hey guys, it's Zemi, and back here in Mass Effect and Andromeda. Just recording a few things here and there, seeing if anything is important. So far, nothing has been going on, so... <laughs> this is already like the second episode I've recorded, technically. The first one did not have anything of any importance, so... We'll not be uploading it. Um, but yeah, so if this one has anything, I will cut to that. If not, then... This will never be shown. Ha ha ha! Ryder, one of your father's memories is available. Yes, the last one. Let's see it. A moment. There is an added layer of oh. security. Interesting. What was it GN Garson said? The code word is fulcrum. That worked. This <laughs> is the last memory your father encrypted okay. from the final planning stages of Hyperion's departure. All right, here we go. Castus. Thanks for calling. Not a lot of people still admit to knowing me. <laughs> I owe you. Those were good days on the Citadel, Alec. I checked with my son, Garrus. He works there now. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. He says the Council thinks Commander Shepard's story is bogus. Uh huh. But. Privately, I've heard they're starting to wonder. This threat. They're called Reapers? Shepard's word for them. Something <laughs> about a cycle. An extinction event that happens every 50,000 years, galaxy-wide. And supposedly, the alarm clock's about to go off again. Yay. Unbelievable. I know. But according to Garrus, Shepard's as level-headed as they <laughs> Takes after you. And then seven. Not the way so I would play Shepard. <laughs> I don't want to be around to see them. Thanks, Castus. Take care. Guess that secretly stages with Sam? Yes. Hi. I checked around. There might be something to this. If there is a war, the scramble for resources will be on a scale we've never seen before. The chaos will be monumental. We should accelerate our timetable. They will keep the reason quiet. No need to alarm anyone. But the arcs must be underway before any fighting starts. We can't get caught in the crossfire. Agreed. Is there something else? Years ago, you mentioned salvation for a lot of people. <laughs> you knew this was coming. Who are you? Something was coming. In theory. Shepard made it real. And now that you're right? We'll need a new home. We're going to be all that's left of civilization. Yay. Sam. Yes, Pathfinder. Hello. Track down my kids. Tell them their old man needs to talk. It's urgent. And how is Ellen? She remains in stasis. As you hoped, it has suspended the progress of her disease. Hmm. Make sure her pot is on the Hyperion. Don't use her real name. Oh. I'll tell the kids when the time is right. Is is my mom, like, legit alive? Is she, like, hey, on the Sam, ship? Transfer Pathfinder access. Encrypt memories. <laughs> There's still hope. For your mother. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Me and my pretty armor are going Mom to sleep. Is here? Alive? Creep I oh my god. All knowledge of this memory. Wow. I now recall his directive to put Ellen into stasis. He hoped it would halt further progress of her disease. So who is she in stasis? Yeah, I yep. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, this Dad. Never been kept secret. Your father didn't want to raise false hopes. Too bad, Dad. This is the reason you were made Pathfinder. To see the process through. So it wasn't- it didn't have with anything to do with my ability, of course. You know? <laughs> Ellen is in a stasis pod, under a false name. Elizabeth Riley. Okay, so... Good. So this was Dad's plan. Alec could not live with the thought of Ellen recovering, only to discover you had died. I he sacrificed himself. To ensure you and Sarah could one day be reunited with your mother. No, I don't buy that. He was really? also concerned that what he knew about the Reapers and the Benefactor remained secret. He entrusted you with this knowledge. I I'm gonna blow it wide open. I wouldn't know who this where this person is. Now unlocked in Alex quarters. Yay! Now we know what Gian Garson meant. That something big spooked the Benefactor. Yeah. It was these Reapers. What do you know about them? A Spectre <laughs> operative in the Milky Way, Commander Shepard. Launched an investigation in 2183 into the existence of an ancient race known as Reapers. According to Shepard's information, 
The Reapers invade the Milky Way every <laughs> 2,000 years to destroy any advanced organic life. It's very, it's, it's like cicadas, you know? <laughs> for millions of years. I hate cicadas so much. The Reapers' return was imminent. Okay. Are we safe? <laughs> that was over 600 years ago. Was Shepard right? Did the Reapers come back? Additional locks in your father's quarters have unlocked. Their implications oh. are... Traveling. So we got Reapers your and Remnants? Prudent, that you have this information, should anything happen to him. Okay. But why was Jean Garson murdered? Recall Garson's words about the Benefactor. Now they're moving a hundred thousand of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for good. Huh? But I have my doubts. What does that mean? Yeah. Who was? I, who I'm was a little slow here, just like writer. Okay. Got it. I need to go find mom. I need. I. I. Okay. Obviously, um, I. I. You know, everyone probably knows this, but Shepard and talking about the Reapers and Garrus, that's all from the original Mass Effect trilogy. Um, specifically the second game and the third game. Um, Milky Way Emergency. We just arrived in Andromeda. Before the rest of the Hyperion wakes up, I've checked our comms for any signals from the Milky Way. Looks like sometime in 2186. Ooh. Everything went to hell. We got out just ahead of it. So... Commander Shepard was right. So was our mysterious benefactor. Okay, if I'm getting this right... So if I'm getting this correctly, it sounds like... Ryder and the Benefactor pushed us all into stasis, maybe at a different schedule than they were anticipating, to avoid the coming of the Reapers again. I could be wrong, but that's kind of what it, it sounds like to me. This is Paladin Command to all Turian units within range. Under catastrophic Reaper attack. My is dead. Oh. Ground units are searching for the next in succession. We'll advise when everybody get down! Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> I really want to know who the benefactor is, though, still. Please stand by for an emergency flash traffic message. That sounds like Korra. <laughs> this is a galaxy-wide alert for all human territories. Fleet Admiral Stephen Hackett has declared threat condition Saber 1. Enemy presence confirmed in Soul System. Earth under Reaper attack. I say again, Reaper attack is underway. Uh, yeah, so... Instructions to follow on code and channel Crimson Tacit. So... It, yeah, I mean, it sounds like basically they pushed all of us onto the arcs way, you know, I, I don't know if that was when we were supposed to go on the arcs or not. I'm getting the feeling that, yeah, they pushed us onto the arcs a little bit early um, to ensure that they had some surviving people not expecting, obviously, the remnants in the new part of the galaxy um, or the Scourge, but trying to get out of the way of the Reapers to save some of mankind and these other, you know, alien races. That's my thoughts. I don't Hello, know. Alec. Hi. This is Liara Tassoni, and the year is 2186. Oh. I don't know if you'll even receive this message, but we corresponded years ago. So this was... I remember you spoke about a plan to settle Andromeda. Yes. I don't know if your arcs made it out of the Milky Way, but the worst has happened here. I'm with Commander Shepard and oh. a brave crew. We're trying to build That's a right, to yeah. the tide, but I fear that the civilization you remember, the people of the Milky Way yeah. as you knew them, could be gone forever. You may be all that's left. Please, don't forget us. Keep us alive in your hearts. And tell your children of the wonders that once were. On behalf of the crew of the Normandy <laughs> SR2, this is Dr. Aww, Liara. A little bit of an alien reference right there. <laughs> That's just like Ripley's sign off at the end of the first alien movie. <laughs> Last survivor of the Nostromo. This is Commander Ripley Alec, signing this off. This is Jen Garson. For the record, year 2185. Okay. It's about Fulcrum. I'm on the Nexus and we're going into stasis for the voyage. Okay. Looks like you're already asleep. I'm very uncomfortable with our benefactor. And the fact that we still don't know who they yeah. are. And all these lives in our hands. Right. I should have done something sooner. This is all very troubling, Alec. Let's talk as soon as you reach Andromeda. You're, but you're dead. But you're dead. Okay. So my dad sent a message to Jen, her. I got your message about Fulcrum. It's now 2819. Oh. We 
reached Andromeda but have no sign of the Nexus, I have the same concerns as you. In all likelihood, the Milky Way. Yeah, it it gone to, it, it done got warped. <laughs> At least the benefactor spared us from that. But why keep hiding? Because of the scourge. Off. But we've got bigger problems at the moment. Habitat 7 may be a bust. Finding a home is all that matters now. I still really want to set settle Habitat 7. Okay, and I know I can't, but... That's it? I'm securing these Milky okay. Way reports. This is the only copy and I don't want it getting out. Whatever happened was 600 years ago. Okay. Someday we might break the news to everyone if the time's right. I guess we always knew there was no going back. Okay. Okay, so that didn't answer so many questions, but... Yeah, um... Yeah, Dr. Tasani could... I believe was in the original Mass Effect series. I did not play far enough to actually get to meet her in the game, so I can't say for sure. As far as I know, Alec Ryder was... Er, yeah, Alec Ryder was never in the games. I mean, that's just something that they threw in for this one. Um, so is there anything quest-wise with that? Ryder Family Secrets. Meet with my sister. Okay. So let's go uh, see Mom. <laughs> Mommy! You're alive, Mommy! Let's wake you up just to kill you. <laughs> That'll be great fun for everybody. Oops. Oh. Sarah learned how to walk again. Congrats. Oh, I like how she of course she's in the farthest one. There you are. What's going on? Uh yeah, um about this stasis pod that's here. <laughs> yeah, you ready? Hold on to your butts. <laughs> Well, here's the pod you told me to find. What's so important about <laughs> Elizabeth Riley? I'm just gonna be up front. It's... I could have milked this a little, but... <laughs> this is Mom. What? I saw Dad's last memory. He brought her. ER isn't Elizabeth Riley. It's Ellen Ryder. Oh my god. <laughs> How is this possible? Because Dad's a dumbass. Apparently, putting her into stasis also put her disease on hold. Its progress has been halted. Alec put her in stasis after she fell unconscious in the hospital. This is amazing. Dad's stubborn streak finally paid off. <laughs> I could hug him. And then scream at him. He should have told us about this. Exactly. Yes. I said the same thing. But does it really matter? She's still with us. But do we have a cure for we this disease? That's inadvisable. Yeah. Although Ellen is alive, exactly. her would trigger the disease, which would prove fatal. Yeah. Cure her first. Can't we cure her, Sam? It's been 600 years. <laughs> that was your father's plan. Okay. What do you mean? Alec hoped that in Andromeda, we would discover new scientific insights. And have we? I, I mean, I, I've Our done a lot of work here. <laughs> have indeed provided valuable genetic knowledge. Information that could lead to a cure. Okay. But patience is required. For the moment, <sighs> enjoy the fact that she is still alive, and that your accomplishments will one day save her life. Uh, but when? Won't she be surprised? Thanks for helping. I guess keep her safe. Let's make sure she stays safe, Sam. We lost her once. No way we're losing her again. My original purpose was to ensure the survival of Ellen Ryder. Oh. It is a mission I hope Sam's trying to be cute and sweet. And <laughs> be our dad. Sam's our new dad. <laughs> Okay. Oh my gosh, so... I can talk to her? Hang in there, Mom. We missed you. Creepy. Okay. Bye. Bye, Elizabeth Riley. Alright, um, so that's a thing that happened. Uh, um... That did not, like, solve anything. That, that gave... Oh, now... It, it was a hard day for her, now she's sleeping again. Back again? Apparently that's it. Well... I should let you rest up. I have nothing Watch to say to you. There. I can't keep saving your butt like this. 
All right, so nothing new to... S okay, nothing... Wow, that's that's grayed out. I have no more in there. <laughs> I, We still don't know anything about who the benefactor is, and that bothers me. I guess I'm a, maybe we'll find out more as the storyline progresses, hopefully. I don't know for sure, like, it, who knows, but hopefully, maybe, so. <sighs> Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals by your mining interface. That's it. Good work. those data pads. Didn't get far, did he? He stole from a child. It caught up with him. Okay. Yay. I'm done. <laughs> I have nothing to do. 